Well, it's day five after the relocation. When I came out, I went to the went outside first and looked at the entrance, and the queen was on the ground. She had tried to fly out. I'm not sure why, but I managed to get her back up. She couldn't fly. I got her back up by the entrance, and she walked right in. And there was a female out there, and there was a drone out there also. So I think they're starting to move on from the nest. There's Yesterday there was quite a few females in there, and now I see only two, and just a whole bunch of drones. Now the queen's back in there again, but... And I did see a, a worker fly out to go gather some food. But those males, once they get to a certain age, they're going to go out and they, they won't return to the nest. They're just going to go out and start foraging. And uh, what they do is they set up a like a flight plan where they, they stick around the same flowers waiting for the new queens to come out there and, and then they'll mate with them. And then those new queens will, sometimes they'll come back to the nest, but most of the time they'll just kind of set up an area and forage for food, building up their fat stores because they have to survive the winter hibernating and living off their body fat. So the colony is kind of on the downward right now. It's uh, the ending phases of the colony. There will still be quite a few hatching all the way up until the first freeze, but as we'll see as the the days go on, things are kind of on that downward spike. No, not many workers left. Mostly just the males and females. future generation. There's a hornet back there actually. Another hornet in there. That's where did it go? There it is. It was actually attacking a carpenter ant, so it was actually kind of beneficial to have it in there. At least for that aspect of it. But yeah the population's quite a bit lower this morning. Which a lot of it is because it's uh, sunny out, so the, the workers are out there gathering food. And a lot of the males and females might even return as the day goes on. It's just they're out there setting up their territories and stuff. Hornet needs to get out of there, but we'll figure out a way to get it. Yeah, see, there's the queen. She just popped up on the other side of that other f new female. I see one, two, three, yeah, three, three or four future queens left in there, and the queen herself. Which there would have been no way for her to get back to the nest if I wouldn't have came out right when I did. Hopefully she realizes that she can't fly. Usually you find the old queen dead in the comb. But she might have uh, realized she's coming to the end of her life. And here comes back one of the workers. Uh, doesn't have pollen, but probably has some nectar on him. On her, I mean. Yep. Looking around. Yep, 
there was a dead hornet in here yesterday, but I'm not seeing the body anymore. Actually, there may be more workers in there. They could just be underneath some of the comb. Okay, well, this is day five. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Or hit that subscribe button if you've not done so. I really appreciate it. Help the channel out a great deal. Plus, comment what you think. You know, the all the comments and the likes and everything all help to drive the channel, and I really would appreciate it very much. Thank you, and have a great day. Well, unfortunately, this video is over. But please, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do have a lot of videos on my page, so please hit one of these links and check out one of the ones I have listed for you. You have a great rest of your day, and I will hope to talk to you in the comments.